NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Which is good to hear because I know a lot of us saw some raindrops today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mostly early on. Liz, it's nice to see you. Sorry about that early. I was so it's confused. Okay. There's so many of us here. <laughs> <laughs> well, to have both, you know, both of them out on the golf course enjoying the day. Yeah. Two celebrities. I don't do the big time <laughs> golf. I'm only a mini golfer, but uh, Same. someday I'll learn. Well, you someday have that nice promo out now on the golf course. <laughs> Uh, the weather, the weather guidance really helps there with the wind direction. Alice will teach you. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully she's listening. Let's take a look at the uh, view. This is St. Albans, kind of cloudy, but not super wet right now. We're s almost in between these spells of showers. So we had the one go through earlier, especially in the morning. The next one waits till mostly tomorrow afternoon. So there's actually some clearing that moves in overnight. There has been more sun west and south already, but. Not too much in the Champlain Valley, 65 in Saranac Lake, 67 for uh, parts of southern Essex County. The 70s are mostly where the sun has come through a little bit. So southern Vermont and then the St. Lawrence River Valley. But the humidity is dropping off and you could see uh, dew points in the 60s for eastern and northern Vermont. But that's being pushed out as we go forward, at least temporarily. So a shower is still possible overnight, but generally it's this pocket of partial clearing overhead through first thing in the morning. So if you're up early enough, you'll see a little sun, but the clouds are coming back pretty quickly. And we've got this band of rain that likely has some thunder in it by tomorrow afternoon. So five o'clock in the afternoon, it goes from Clinton County through Middlebury, into Springfield and Brattleboro, and then it lifts and pivots out to the northeast. But there's still some showers that linger into first thing Thursday. Overall, though, Thursday is a drier day, just a few showers popping up in the afternoon. So it's brighter and drier for Thursday, and then we've got more showers and storms for Friday. So generally speaking, it's not severe weather we're looking at tomorrow, but we will have a close eye on the radar, especially south. See how this low risk for thunderstorms clips far southern Vermont, Bennington and Brattleboro included. So the farther south we are tomorrow, there'll be a little bit more energy for stronger thunderstorms, but we're on the edge, so we'll be watching it for you as well, especially tomorrow afternoon. On Lake Champlain, it's a south wind for a change. Waves of one foot or less. The water temperature is up to 63. These humid nights are very helpful for the warming of the water. And you see here going forward in the next five days or so, it's that touch of humidity that we've got in play. And the forecast for the weekend actually has a dew point of about 60, which is that threshold when you start to feel the stickiness. So. It makes for more pleasant evenings. I think for the most part it doesn't get chilly too fast. So this night we'll have mostly 50s on the weather map. Uh, some, some stars visible. The clouds part at least for a little bit, but they're quick to come back tomorrow morning with rain over New York first uh, arriving by uh, the morning hours, but taking a little bit longer to shift into Vermont. And remember, uh, it's going to be a day with a little bit of thunder in the mix as well. So we'll have to watch for some lightning strikes, 76 in Burlington and Brattleboro at 76. So there's a little bit more of a better chance for uh, thunder as you head to the south. And then for Thursday, we've got uh, about 80 degrees. Remember, it's mostly dry, just a few little showers popping up on Thursday. So it'll feel like summer. Then we get into a little bit more of an active pattern there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The trend though today has been drier and warmer as we get to the official start of summer, which is Wednesday of next week. 80s and sun for, for more than just three hours in a row. That'll be nice.